see all the iguanas we got. If you guys want to see how we got all these iguanas, just stay tuned. You guys are going to see it right here on the Iguana Man. Like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Hey, how's it going guys? Your friend Roger the Iguana Man here. And as you can see, it is nighttime. And sometimes when I can't sleep, guys, I like to just come out here in the wilderness and kind of just observe and see what creatures you can see. Out right here. Looks like we have a little anoli. He's so sleepy. He's so sleepy. That right there, guys, we have a native Green knoll. Hello, buddy. He's in a daze. Look at this little guy. And they get caught and they get eaten by a lot of other things, sometimes invasives. He's a native. We're gonna put him back right here. Go, Mr. Anoli. There. Come on, buddy. Oh, you gonna go? See, I'm saying they're not the brightest. There he is. Okay. All right, you go back now, all right? You go back to sleep. Bye bye nice and hidden but anyways guys like i said sometimes when i can't sleep what i'll actually do is go for walks and look at the habitats and check out iguanas and fish and other wildlife i really like hunting at night matter of fact a couple months ago we actually met up with johan and some other friends i know we got a lot of new people on the channel another lizard up here guys what is this what is that oh my gosh what is that We have a lot of new people on this channel that have not seen it. So I'm gonna give them the opportunity. I'm gonna be playing the best parts. Like, comment, and hit that red subscribe button if you're new. We're gonna see if we can get this guy down. I'm gonna introduce you to the crew. Right here, we got our boy, we got our boy Canyon. What's up, buddy? <laughs> hey, how's it going? You guys already know, we got Johan. You, you know it. <laughs> we got Ollie, we got Drew. We got the Iguana Ninja. What it is, what it is, and what it is going to be. Go <laughs> Yeah, so the night starts at our buddy Johan's job, and this is ironically a spot I used to go fishing at when I was a kid. I noticed uh, a lot of iguanas out here jumping in, scaring fish. So he's done. It's kind of crazy that we're back out here working. Grab of a thousand. Now that I'm going right there, y'all. Proof that these iguanas are breeding out here. Yep. We have a hatchling. Look at this little guy. Hey, buddy. Oh my goodness. Look at that, huh? A wiry little guy. Apparently, y'all, yeah. he, oh, he's super feisty, even as a little infant. Look at that. Got him. Yep, right out the egg. They got Where instincts to climb, swim, dig, defend themselves as well. Him. Hold on, there's one to the right here as well. Teach him a fat one. Yeah, but the big one's still hanging up there. Get the net. I'm going to keep my square light on him. Watch your heads. A little Come FYI. Then, uh, Guys, the other big one's still hanging up there. All right, the, let me tag this one. The one. estimated iguana thing, population in here. How to get him down. What? About a thousand. I'm up in the knee, And about a square mile. Yeah, yeah I see him. Yeah, he's right there. there he's coming down. Oh, oh nice. nice recovery, though. In, in the bag. That one's here, see. I'm in the bag. Or there could be more. Hi. Yes, you shall not pass. Blue food frog right here, y'all. Extremely invasive and they're toxic. Yeah, um, I need to put him to the side. Okay. I'm punching hot every time. Ooh, there was one big one right there that just ran. That one is coming down. Yeah, they can. They do that. I've seen it. Man, we need to change that. For more information, make sure you check my link at pyramidair.com and use the coupon codes to save yourself some money. Of course, if you're in the market for a new pew to handle some right tests. In the back. Hey, good follow-up. <laughs> Woo! Clocked in. Healthy specimen right here. Male up in the tree. 
mature, y'all. When it's breeding season, they're super territorial. Right there's that big orange one. Ooh, get him. I'm down here. I'm trying to knock him down. Okay. Hurt on him, son. Nice. You see slugs. Can't stop the pop, baby. Oh, no. Yeah, shout out to our boy Andrew. AKA yeah, KC Slugs. Comes right up underneath. There he is. 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 You're, you're finished. Wow. wow. Look at his tail on that puppy. That's probably. Oh, yeah. Three inch, two inch circumference. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a big boy right there. Big orange, y'all. Yeah, man. He's giant, alpha in the street right giant. here. Look at that. Uh, he hasn't been touched. Look at his tail. That's a fresh tail forever. The color blends in perfectly with the tree trunk. In the daytime, you can't see them. That's it. Oh, look, here's that other one hanging. Damn! i telling you, that's one of the real advantages of iguana hunting at night. Yep. Oh, here you go. The flashlight, we get to actually spot the iguanas out a lot easier than the daytime. Not to mention, it's a lot cooler. One of the number one issues this ain't a joke, y'all. This is real. For iguana hunters is heat exhaustion. You can ask all the pros. There he, there he goes, right in the net. Definitely knew where he was going. Come on, hot. Oh. Yeah, this tree was loaded. This is all from one tree. Like Jurassic Park out here. Cool. So that's why we're out here doing iguana removal. So Huge shout out to everybody that's working on the force tonight, y'all. This ain't easy. If y'all have any other strategies as well, drop some comments and let us know. Last 20 minutes off of that tree. Next time we go night hunt, we're going to bring a red laser with us to point out iguanas. All right, better. I told you guys it was great stuff. That was awesome, yo. Johan, Casey Slugs, we had, some, we had some other buddies out there. We were taking them out. And just as promised, guys, we're going to see if we can get this down right here. I don't. You, you can see the lizard right there. I'm not quite sure what it is it looks like it's blue he's just a little bit out of my reach so i'm gonna see if i can coerce bring this down a little bit yeah if you're ever bored at night and you got a flashlight and you got some trees around your house on shoot. your property or areas where you can go oh my god you got permission to be at oh shoot it's nice to go out there with a flashlight and just look at nature you get to see fish and you get to see lizards in the right, trees there he is right there we look got an anoli another one Let's see if we can get him down Buddy. <laughs> I got, got dew drops falling. I got dew falling right in my, my, my face. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool right there. Wow, I actually want him as a pet. I'm gonna see if I can grab him. Alright. There he is. He's he's in La La Land as well. Florida is so crazy, guys. We, oh shoot. He's right there. I'm gonna have to grab him. Yeah, when you're grabbing trees too, there could be other things like insects that can fall on you as well. Centipedes, spiders. Ooh, he wants to get me. He wants to get me. No, Mr. Anoli. No biting iguana, man. You be good. Yeah, you don't want to get. Man. You don't want to really take a bite from one of these he guys. He wants to. Oh my gosh. And I'm in a tough spot. I don't spot got a good grip right on him. He's probably gonna get me, guys. No, no. Ow! Shoot. Okay. All right. Mm. Well, okay, we got to Right on the, the skin of my knuckles. Ooh. That feels great. Well, he's got me in a pincher. All right, buddy. Are you going to let go? All right, guys. I'm in a situation right now. All right. Ow. Hey, right. you didn't want to let go. I had to let right, him guys, go. He's like latched. Ow. There he goes. Ow. <laughs> Look at this in my finger. Yeah, well, uh. <laughs> Silly guy. Anyways, let's go for a better grab right now. There he is. He ain't biting nobody no more. Alright, guys. Another lizard that we got right there. A Cuban knight and all. Uh, he's got sharp teeth. Let's, he's got a pretty. As you guys can see, a pretty uh, wide angle mouth. And inside of his mouth is like a huge basket. Giant gullet. He can just gobble up a whole bunch of stuff. I'm talking about maybe smaller lizards, small mammals, moths, butterflies. I've seen them eating wasps before. Like these guys are savages. They'll like attack 
a wasp nest and like eat they all are. the wasps. And they got a pretty strong bite. Thankfully, he doesn't have like big jowls like an iguana or the weight or size because if he did i mean i'm pretty sure that flap of skin that he just bit would have been off it's still a pretty cool lizard like i said like comment and hit the red subscribe button if you're new oh my god get it get it get it, get it. huge shout out to everybody stay tuned y'all we got more iguanas coming and we're gonna about to put them all in the bag. Basically, we were hunting out here for a week straight. Ninja, ninja, ninja! Oh. These are just all the best highlights. I mean, Get him epic times. There he goes. There he goes. He Come here, baby. Chase him. That's insane. Yeah, dude. bag's getting big. Four, five, Look at that big junk. Ooh, that's a big boy right junk there. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, Andrew, that right there. Andrew and his boy and Johan, them boys were off the chain during this hunt. Clapped him. Oh, yeah. He ain't taking that slug. Last one. No, she's through. That was a critical. Critical. Yeah, that's one, that's one for the Barbie right there, boys. What do we need now? A brighter light back up there in the same spot, I guess. Yeah, my shit is. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, this spot was loaded. <laughs> They're living in those banana trees. High Size of these the bananas. Could have been eating the bananas too. Living in the habitat Can't as well. Stop the pop, two for one. Right He's right here. He's right here. Flash down. Oh yeah. Yep. Net always comes in handy. That, that, that wall there, you see it? That's a nice size. Here, let me help you with that. Just always so gotta have your net. There we go, he's in the bag. In the bag. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. oh there he goes. Oh, look at him. Yeah. Swimming like a land shark. He's coming back. Yeah, coming crazy back. part. He'll get it. We didn't know there were gators living you in silly, there. Silly, silly goanna. Keep the light on him. Get, get oh, out of here. Keep the light on him. What was that? That was a yeah. Got him. Got him in that the net. That is magazine. Crap. <laughs> we'll get that too. There's Andrew, Andrew drops there's his $80 here. FX magazine here. I end up going in and getting it. Like I said, this was before we knew there were gators in the water. Like I said, little did I know there were actually gators oh, in the water. There he is. Oh, we got the other one. <laughs> you silly, silly iguanas. <laughs> this was in summer. It was super hot. And no wind, no rain. Hold on. You won. Conditions were perfect to hunt iguanas. 30, 31, and 32. About a 75% success rate on, on the recovery. Oh, he's Clocked him. Teamwork makes the dream work, y'all. That's right. There you go. You see him? Yeah, when we were working as a team out here on this job, it was oh, my goodness. super epic, man. We were, we were wow, getting I'm left over right. here looking in the back. He's right here. Oh, my goodness. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh, my. Oh! Show! <laughs> Know what it is. Yeah, don't mind the old school music, man. <laughs> we had yeah. some uh, production so experiments back I'm in the day. With the Godfather of scale. Oh, wow. There he goes. Oh, wow. We got him, too. That's a big alpha right there. Wow. <laughs> this part was crazy. <laughs> oh, my God. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it. I told you, those iguanas are making sinkholes. <laughs> Johan yeah, found out phone. the hard way. Five hundred dollars later, yeah, new phone later. <laughs> big, big iguanas out here, y'all. Giant alpha male, all his females. Look at that. That's insane. It's a well, Johan Sunset Aquatics teaching them a super fat lesson and putting them in the bag. Let's go, y'all. Really. Back in these banana trees. I'm telling you.
Okay, let me have him. Oh, there's that other one getting ready to jump. Which one? Oh, he's still kind of I got it. Okay. Grab it. Yeah, this is the night when we're in the deeper pool and we realize that there's gators in here because we see two giant wakes and we actually get a shot of uh, an alligator eating an iguana, but it's so, it's... There he comes, boys. Big Woo! alligator too, maybe like a Touchdown. six, seven footer. Definitely hurt somebody. What do you see, a gator? Something big's out here lurking, boys. We ain't the only thing hunting these iguanas, y'all. There's a gator in here, boys. Big gator. Oh my oh. God. Yeah, this is the glimpse we have. It's not, I, it's. Bro, that is a big gator. Uh, that's some footage there, guys. Bro, that is a, it, it, was, it happened in like a millisecond. Gator, Look. Yeah, 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 boys. Let's get up out of here, y'all. Cause he's got a taste for a uh, bubble, bubble. bubble right there. There could be another one, y'all. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, boys. Let's, uh, I know. Yeah. You see another gator? Yeah, there's two. You can see the two bubble trails. There's two separate bubble trails. It really makes you uh, think about your position. When jumping yeah, in this area there. we're at, it's basically a drop off. Goes from like three foot to probably three, 10 foot. Four, five, so. six, seven. I ordered the boys eight, to get up, get up on out of there, nine, man. Shoot. 10. We did well. 11. 12. 13. 14. 15, 18, 18 19, 19, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 28, you were close, you were close, more man. Than we, we haven't even been to the other side Exactly. Yet. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, yeah. we're phase one and we still haven't even gone all the way around phase one technically. That's right. Crazy, let phase two begin. In the bag. Right there. Get the net. Here he comes. Nice. I'll give you a nice shot, and then I'm shooting. Oh. Bush. Yeah, every Just single bush, on. every single tree had at least one or two iguanas in it. Oh, that's a nice one right there. Baby Alpha in the bag. All right, boys, we're over here. The Alpha's facing towards the water. This is gator infested waters. Woo! He's probably about yeah, an eight pounder. Right above him, so. That's a big puppy right there. He's yeah. about at least seven and a half, eight pounds. Giant. Today was an epic day. I'm so thrilled over the fact that, you know, uh, I met Andrew, I met Jacob, I met my man here. Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> you gave me name, man. But, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys again. I'm looking forward to seeing you on my channel. I'm looking forward to everybody seeing me on the channel because I got a lot of work out here, man. Yeah, that basically concludes it. It was an epic week of hunting with the boys. Got a lot of iguanas, probably like 200 total. Yes! Nobody got hurt. Nobody got ate by a gator. Alright, let's see. Count the bullet holes. Yeah, there's some, there's some element about the night hunting that I like a lot. It's very cool, calm. You're not sweating. And we get to use our flashlights to our advantage to spot iguanas in trees, which we can't do during the day. So, A lot of those that are wondering... Why we do the iguana removal? Well, put it like this. They're actually an invasive species here in Florida. Uh, not quite sure how they got here, but recently in the last 10 years, we've been seeing crazy numbers and they've been in areas where people have never before seen lizards that size. And the crazy thing is, is they, they breed a lot. A lot of the females, they lay average of 50 eggs. And like I said, we're seeing a lot of them in areas that never before have been seen. You're probably asking, so what is the problem with having a bunch of iguanas on a property? Here's the issue. These animals get big, they eat a lot of food, and what a lot of people don't realize is they dig massive holes. People think iguanas are just living in the trees uh, all the time, in which they are, but look, we got a burrow inside there, look. They actually go underground to lay their nest, and also when it gets cold, but 
underground is like their safe zone. You think about it. They're not seen and they're also protected by earth. So it's the perfect thing. And with that being said, guys, it's your friend Roger the Iguana, man. I'm signing out. But we got an iguana up there. I'll show you real quick. You see that right there? That's an iguana. You can see I'm looking in the tree. See how it stands out? You see that? Yep, that's an iguana up there. He's high up, though. He's high up. I could get him, but... Well, I hope you guys learned a thing or two. It's your friend Raj the Iguana Man signing out.